Tomo, Anime Senpai Des. Welcome back to another episode of Anime Rewind, where we revisit legendary classics from the past. Let's take a trip down memory lane and reminisce some of the best anime series that came out in spring 2011. Nichijo is a slice of life show about an ordinary group of high schoolers doing ordinary teenager things and living an ordinary life. This anime illustrates the mundane scenes of our everyday life, like getting bitten by a dog. <coughs> and shooting a bijudama, of course. I do that every time I stub my toe on a cabinet. Totally normal. Well, some of you might say, Why would you want to watch the everyday lives of fictional characters? It's so boring. Hey, you know what's boring? Your taste in anime. <laughs> Even though it's a slice of life anime, Nichijo stands out from the rest of the genre by infusing everyday scenarios with a dose of humor and exaggeration. Have you ever watched coin soccer being animated like a shonen battle? Well, here you go. To this day, I've never seen another studio who is willing to spend so much money to over-animate an almost pointless scene in a slice of life anime. Sasuga Kyoani. And this is why Nichijo is the epitome of slice of life and comedy anime. I give this anime one indestructible pumpkin out of the number of times Yuko lost in arm wrestling. <laughs> Anohana is a heartfelt anime that follows the story of five childhood friends who drifted apart after a tragic incident, which causes the death of their friend, Menma. Fast forward to present, their paths crossed again when they found Menma's profile on Facebook. Turns out, it was the MC who created the fake account and tries to convince Cerez that Menma is still alive. She just couldn't type the keyboard. Okay, I'm exaggerating. But basically, the ghost of Menma appears to the MC one day, prompting him to reunite with the others and confront their unresolved emotions. At its core, Anohana is a tale that revolves around coping with loss and finding solace through genuine connections. If you're watching specifically for tear-jerking moments, Anohana definitely delivers, especially when the ED secret base kicks in. <laughs> After all, it's one of the best sad anime of all time. I give this anime one liter of tears out of unlimited depression. Many new anime fans might not realize how popular Gintama was at its peak. Let me show you an image of the top anime series of all time on my anime list. Gintama alone has secured 6 spots in the top 20. 6 spots. Can you believe that? It's safe to say that this season of Gintama was pivotal in hooking anime fans into the world of Gintama, because this very season is when Gintama took a shonen turn. Its popularity at the time surpassed even the big three, especially in major regions like China and Japan. Although it's a comedy anime, Gintama has its serious moments too, especially when the main plot kicks in. It has some of the best shonen story arcs that are packed with action and intensity. I give this anime 2 badasses out of 150 mobs. When it comes to time travel in anime, we cannot not talk about Steins Gate. What makes Steins Gate so special is the fact that it masterfully combines complex and well thought out concepts of time travel with a compelling narrative. Many people find the first episodes to be quite boring and they decided to drop it. That's fine, I get it. We live in a fast paced society where most people's attention span is only capable of watching Demon Slayer. But trust me, the show truly unfolds after the 12th episode and boy it gets exciting. From here onwards, the show took a complete 180 turn and went pedal to the metal until the very last episode. Just as space and time are intertwined to create the present we experience, Steins Gate connects all the foreshadowing and plots from the very first episode to the ending, completing the entire loop. What's really impressive about Steins Gate is its lack of plot holes. There's no collapse in logic and every paradox is explained seamlessly. 
To those who had struggled watching past the 12th episode before, or contemplating giving it a try, Ed, Basai, and those are some of the wonderful anime that were aired in spring 2011. I would love to continue discussing and reminiscing about old anime favorites, so if you're interested in that, make sure to subscribe for more content like this. Once again, I appreciate your support, and I'll see you in the next video. Ja, mata ne, minasan.